Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Holub. So today in science, we are going to sort. What does sorting mean? I know we've heard that word. Give yourself some think time, put your thinking cap on. Think about what sort means. And now watch this video. Hi, today I'm playing in the park. In the summer, all leaves are green and seem the same. And now, in the fall, they are of many colors and look so different from each other. Hi, everyone. Yes, leaves change their color in the fall. But color is not their only difference. Hmm, what else is different? Look carefully. There are leaves of different trees in this heap. They don't look the same. Yes. The shapes of a maple leaf and an oak leaf are different. The oak leaf looks like an oval with a wavy edge, and a maple leaf looks like a star. Try to sort this heap into two groups, maple leaves and oak leaves. I'll give it a go. Now the maple leaves and the oak leaves lie separately. Let's think how else these leaves are different. I know. Some leaves are big and some are small. Correct. What about sorting the leaves by size? Great. We've got a heap of small leaves and a heap of big leaves. Apart from the shape and size, is there any other way to sort these leaves? I think we can also sort them by color. They are all of different colors. Not exactly. Some leaves are yellow, some are red, and some are two-colored, yellow and green. Let us see how many leaves of each color there are. Sure thing! That's easy! Yellow leaves are the most, red leaves are less, and yellow and green leaves are the least. Even though these leaves have fallen off, they are still very beautiful. Should we make a wreath of them and hang it on the front door? That would look very pretty. Awesome idea! I'll do that! It'll be easy because I've already sorted the leaves by shape, size, and color. At our next lesson, we'll learn... All right, so they sorted leaves. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to sort, sort leaves by size and color. Take a look at this video. Back with another edition of Science. So now we're going to look for different colors in leaves. We're going to sort them by color and we're going to sort them by size so i see some brown leaves can you tell me what other leaves you see green that's right i see some green leaves and there was one other pretty color i saw so you can find it again i'll hear the oh, plane what color is that <laughs> yellow I hear the plane. That's the one I was thinking of. Oh, here it is. And red. That's right. So I can sort leaves by color. Red, yellow, brown, and green. What colors can you find? Ooh, now I can sort by size. So let's see. Which one's the smallest? The green one, the little green one. Which one comes next? Let's look at them a little closer. You have your hand lens? Put them next to each other. The red one, that's right. Which one comes next? The yellow one, good job. Which one comes next? The brown one, the brown one. All right, boys and girls, have fun learning. See you next time. All right. So for your activity today, um, uh, 
you will sort leaves by size and color and then um, take a picture or a video and upload it to your Google Classroom. Um, so just to make sure we know, we're sorting by size and we're sorting by the color of the leaf. Like in the video, sometimes the color can be a little bit um, of the same, like two different colors, like a little bit yellow, a little bit green, right? So then you would put similar colors like that together, okay? Um, and after you do that, then you get to do this fun little activity um, where you click and drag the similar or same leaves. So ones that this one is the ones that are colored, the same color. So if you find leaves that are similar in color, like for example, this is a red one. This is like a light red. This is also red, but it's a little darker. So those would go in one box. Okay. And you'll do that for each color. Then you get to sort by size. So which one is the biggest? All the biggest ones are going to go here. And then all the medium ones here and the small ones here. And why are we doing this? That's a very good question. It is so important because if you know how to sort things, then when it's time for you to put your toys away and clean up, remember the cleanup song from Miss Newman? Um, then you can do that quickly right? Oh, I know that um, my red cars go over here. I know that my, um, all my art supplies go here. Then what can you do? You can go play. You can go on to the next thing. So it's so important to know how to do this because then you will be getting better and better and it will help you in your daily life. Even when you grow up, even when you're um, the next year, it's going to really help you in kindergarten. When you get to go to kindergarten, you're going to have to know how to clean up quickly. So sorting helps us do that. That's one, one just one thing um, that sorting helps us do. All right, that's it for today. Thank you, boys and girls. Have a wonderful day. And I think it's Friday today. And have a great weekend. Bye-bye.